Hello, everyone. Welcome to English Chinwag. Prince and the Sheep. Once there was a beautiful kingdom, ruled by a prince. He took over the kingdom after the death of his father. After a few months of ruling, things started to test him. With no rain, drought brought losses to farmers and killed many animals, birds, and precious plants in the forest. And it was followed by an unknown disease that caused the loss of many lives. After a few months, things started to improve. But before they could recover completely, an enemy king took over the kingdom, killing many people and imprisoning them. The young king managed to escape. Then, he planned to meet his childhood friend, the king of a neighboring kingdom. On his way, he was thinking about the past. He was born and bred to be a king of the powerful and wealthiest empire, but now he lost everything. He believed that, because of his bad luck, everything happened to him. Because nothing has happened to his father or any other king he knew. When the young king reached the palace of his friend, the guards did not allow him because of his dirty looks and clothes. He tried many times and all failed. Then he took a job so that he could buy some clothes. After some days, he went in new clothes and the guards allowed him to meet his friend. To his friend, he explained all the things that happened to him. After hearing his story, his friend King ordered his people to give him a herd of 100 sheep. The young king was surprised, as he was expecting much more than this. He does not want to be a shepherd. But he has nothing else, so he took the offer from his friend. After a few days, while he was grazing his herd, a group of wolves attacked his herd and killed all of them. While the wolves were attacking the sheep, the king ran away from that place. Then he again went to his friend king and asked for help. This time he gave fifty sheep. But once again, he failed to protect his herd from the wolves. For the third time, he got just twenty-five sheep. This time young king decided, if I do not protect my herd from these wolves, he will not get any more help from his friend. So, he examined his place and understood the wolves' attacking areas. He then added additional fences and guards all around. He continued to monitor the places, discussed with other herders, and kept on learning the tricks of maintaining the herd. After a few years, his herd has grown into 1,000 sheep. One day, he went to the palace and informed his king friend of his accomplishment. After hearing him, the friend king ordered his ministers to give him a whole state to rule. He asked his friend, why did you not give me the state to rule when I first came to you for help? The friend king replied, first time when you came to me for help, your mindset was like, you were born and bred to be a leader, but the truth was, you are far from it. You might have been born in wealth, pride, and power, but you have never had proper education and training to lead your people. So, when I gave you the herd, I wanted you to learn how to manage and lead others. Dear friend, 
Now I believe you are ready to lead. Moral of the story. Being born into a powerful family, or being a manager in a higher position, does not make us a leader. We may be in charge of others, like the king or manager or the CEO. But holding that position, and doing nothing for the people, does not make us a leader. We should know our people better, and win the hearts and minds of people. On the flip side, sometimes we think we have to be born and bred to be leaders. But the answer is simple no. Anyone can be a leader one day, as long as we keep learning the secrets of keeping our herd safe. At the end of the day, and thanks for the watching. Subscribe for more video.